At the spot where 2nd Ave turns into Bear Hill Road, local office workers crowd in front of two food trucks that serve quick and fresh fare at decent prices. Food trucks typically sprout up in denser urban centers with a lot of foot traffic. But here, where lunch pickings are slim, there's a growing market. Benny's Crepes! Frank Shear, the owner of Benny's Crepe Cafe, is following in the footsteps of his grandfather, a fruit peddler. He would bring his produce around, he would uh, sell it to the locals in the neighborhood. It's all fresh. There's a fine art to pouring the crepe batter while parked on an uneven surface. The savory crepes are meant to be more of a meal. The sweet crepes are obviously desserts. Benny's gourmet smoked salmon crepe looks delicious. Two ounces of smoked salmon. Like many in the wired world of food trucks, Frank uses Facebook and Twitter to run specials, post pictures, and let customers know when his truck will be open. He's also got the latest gadgets for swiping and ordering. Travis Wayforth doesn't even have a Twitter account, but his coworker found the trucks online and they come about twice a week driving from their office across 95. Today he grabbed a chicken burrito at the Baja Taco Truck. I uh, wanted something good for lunch and uh, we've been here before and it's always been good. Inside, Brian Pugh's team finishes an order of fish tacos, a popular specialty that sells out every day. Uh, we can't make enough of that to keep it on the truck. The California native says his flavors are unlike typical taco fare. Because I got the recipes from little ladies in San Diego, in Cabo, and different parts of Mexico. Family secret. <laughs> Last week, he received good reviews from some local Mexicans. So you know when a guy from Tijuana loves it, we're in good shape. Both trucks have been around for about a month, open for the lunch rush Tuesdays and Thursdays until 2.30. Frank's truck also serves breakfast starting at 7 a.m. Another truck comes Wednesdays and Fridays, and Travis's co-worker said the schedule has become a little more regular. Before it was um, more sporadic, I would say, but now a lot of them are on a schedule. Yay, Baja! Because there's nowhere to sit and eat, some customers just order and then drive back to their cubicles. A new spin on the food truck concept that seems to be working. People out in this area have, have uh, embraced the food truck concept. The city has also been, uh, you know, very receptive to it. For Waltham Newswatch, this is Chris Weingler. Today.